Hey folks, what's going on? Uh, this is the Teutonic Plague, and I would like to address something that is very, very important and near and dear to all us Eagles fans, and that is, of course, as you can probably guess by the Lombardi Trophy in the picture, a shot at the Super Bowl. Do we have a shot? The answer, I'm going to go over that. Once I say this, about Sunday's game versus the New Orleans Saints on the road in New Orleans. A lot of thoughts have been running through my mind, and yes, I'm apprehensive about this game and this and that and the other, but what I want to say is, fellow Eagles fans, I understand a lot of Eagles fans are real scared about today, about uh, Sunday's game. And I understand that you're scared. I'm a little afraid myself. The Saints are a challenge. They're going to be a challenge this year. But I think it's a challenge that we can overcome. I hear a lot of people saying the Saints are going to steamroll us. Maybe they will, maybe they won't. There's only one way to find out, and that's to play against them on Sunday. I want to remind everybody that regardless of the outcome of this game, regardless of the outcome of this season, I will be an Eagles fan until I die. And I will continue to believe in the Philadelphia Eagles and Carson Wentz. A lot of people are saying, Fire Doug Peterson. Fire Doug Peterson. Fire Jim Schwartz. You know who our head coach was when we won the Super Bowl last year? Doug Peterson. You know who our defensive coordinator was? Jim Schwartz. So, first and foremost, it's not the coaching. So if you want to blame the coaching staff of the Philadelphia Eagles organization, you can forget it, all right? It's not the coaching staff. Don't blame Doug, all right? Don't blame Doug. It's not Doug's fault, and it's not fucking Jim's fault, okay? Also, we'll be playing in a dome. The Saints have a domed stadium. Perfect conditions in that dome. Perfect. That means Wentz will be at his best because there's no wind to fuck up his trajectory, all right? It's not cold, so his fucking joints won't be freezing up. I mean, even if it wasn't a dome, it still wouldn't be cold because it's New Orleans. It's hot down there. Now, that's just geography 101. The closer you are to the equator, the hotter it fucking gets. Everybody knows that. Everyone and his fucking dog knows that New Orleans... Yeah, it's going to be a little warmer than Philadelphia, isn't it? So perfect conditions for Wentz, but also perfect windless conditions for Breeze. I saw the first look video that the Eagles organization put out. I saw and heard firsthand the, uh, the, the commentators. They're a little apprehensive going into this game, too. All right? All the naysayers that are saying that we can't do it, hey, listen good and listen close. I refuse. And I refuse. And I refuse to go quietly into that good night. We will play. We must. We must. If we're to beat the Saints, we must. Play with ferocity. We must not hold back. We must play with determination and sheer force of will. This is a hard ball club to beat this year. But I say we can. We can. I mean, this is the, I mean, granted, these aren't the exact same people, but this is the organization. This is the ball club. 
that beat the New England Patriots last year in the Super Bowl. So we have to reach inside ourselves and find and just awaken the demon. We have to awaken the demon inside us. And we have to play. We have to play like the demon inside our souls. Ah! If we're to beat the New Orleans Saints on Sunday. But I think that we can do this. We can do this. I want, I'm, I'm going to talk to the team now, all right? I'm going to talk, if any Philadelphia Eagles players are watching this at home or are watching this in the locker room, I want you guys to look in the mirror. All of you, right now, and say, I can do this. We can beat New Orleans. We have the ferocity. We have the tenacity. We have the will. It is David versus Goliath. And I don't know about you, but the Saints are acting a lot less like David and a lot more like fucking Goliath! And I hope to God that the stone that takes you down is the Philadelphia Eagles this Sunday. Now with that out of the way, with that out of the way, now I can talk postseason. Now I can talk postseason. Are we still in the hunt at this moment? Yes. Yes, we are. If the season were to end today, we would probably be in the playoffs right now. But it's not over, and it will not be over till week 17. We are in the hunt, ladies and germs. We can we we still have a shot. Even if we lose to the Saints. Now, I'm not saying I want to lose to the Saints. I don't. I'd like to win, obviously. But if we lose to the Saints, we will still be in the running for the playoffs. We'll still be in the run. We're at a point where we may or may not make it this year, but we will still be in the running if we lose to the Saints. But if we lose to the Saints, the chances are going to get slimmer. Even if we beat the Saints, we have got to win the next five games. We have to win at least, I'd say, three of the next five games. Now, the Giants, uh, it's not Giants hate week yet, but, but I'd say the Giants... It'll be pretty easy prey for us. I mean, going by going by the last time we played them, yeah, should be pretty easy. Should be easy prey. Now, I'm not saying when you play against the Giants, relax. Don't relax. Don't even think about holding back. Get a fucking 50 burger on them. Are you kidding? Get a fucking 50 bomb on them. You shitting me? Humiliate them. No mercy. Sweep the leg. No mercy. All right? The same attitude that I want us to have against the fucking Saints. Strike hard, strike fast, strike first, show no mercy. No mercy! None! Ah! Don't let anybody if anyone in the Philadelphia, if anyone in the Eagles organization is listening to this, Plague's got your back! Plague knows what you're about. Plague knows what you can do. Plague believes in you. Yeah! So don't let anyone, and I mean anyone, 
tell you that you can't do it. Don't let anyone tell you that you can't do it! Because I know that we can do it! Do you hear the passion, the fury in my voice? Ah! Ride or die, whether we sink or swim in this game, whether or not the Eagles manage to fly in this game. I will still be with you, and I will be a fan until I fucking die! And I will support you and say that it is possible until I die. You won't catch me being a fucking naysayer. We have got to win this game against the Saints. All right. We'll still be in the hunt if we lose. But we'll be even more in the hunt if we win. I want an Eagles win. I want an Eagles win every time. In a perfect world, the Eagles would go 16 and 0. You know it. I know it. We all know it. When I die and go to heaven, Whatever Philadelphia Eagles are up there, if they've got football in heaven, guarantee that if it really is heaven, I guarantee that if it really is heaven, the Philadelphia Eagles, this team right here, on my screen, will go six will go 16 and 0 every year. If it's really heaven, they'll win every year, they'll win the Super Bowl every year. Garen fucking T. I will never say that the Philadelphia Eagles can't do it. I will ne you will never hear me say that. Oh, you're so naive, Plague. You'll get steamrolled, Plague. You're not gonna make the playoffs. Your Eagles are doomed. Doomed! <laughs> you're so naive. You don't know shit about football. You're so naive. God, is this guy dumb? <laughs> Call me naive. Call me dumb. Call me stupid. Call me a fucking retard. Say I don't know anything about football. I don't care! Because, hey, I'm not a fucking football commentator. I don't have to know the ins and outs of everything. Do you know what the fuck I am? I'm an Eagles fan! God damn it! And I refuse to hop teams. And I refuse. And I flat out refuse to be a goddamn naysayer. I refuse! Damn it! And all you Eagles fans that are naysayers, that are saying that we can't do it, YOUR ATTITUDE FUCKING YOUR ATTITUDE FUCKING SUCKS! DON'T YOU DARE TELL ME THAT MY GODDAMN HORSE CAN'T RUN NO MORE! DON'T YOU DARE TELL ME THAT MY DOG DOESN'T HAVE TEETH AND DOESN'T STILL HAVE FIGHT IN HIM! DON'T YOU DO IT!
Alright, give me that. Fucking chair. I gotta go. I gotta go before my before my skin starts turning green. I start ripping through my clothes and I start growing in size and change and shape for Christ's sake. I gotta go. Oh my god! All this passion is overwhelming my circuits. I gotta go!